They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but to the Ames High School students who drew these portraits of Ukrainian kids, they're hoping it's worth more than that, as these kids are now far from their home due to the war. I picked Nika. And not knowing much about four-year-old Nika doesn't stop Thomas Lemkul from hoping his portrait leaves an impression. I hope it brings her hope. And, and some joy around this time of year. And he hopes the same for every Ukrainian child whose portrait hangs high in the Ames Public Library. It's called the Memory Project. We receive portraits of refugees from a country in the world. A country that's war-torn or dealing with instability. This year, Ames High Art students received pictures of Ukrainian refugee children torn from their homes. We get like their name and basic information about like things they like, favorite color. And a single picture. All of those used by students as they work on the individual portraits. Some need a lot more help than others. Some come at it as they've never drawn a portrait before. But art teacher Lindsay Weedy says every year her students treat it like it's more than just a project. It's more than the grade, right? It's you're doing something that is very purposeful. You know that you're accountable to this other individual that you're gifting this project to. In the school's sixth year of this national project, 49 portraits are on display, and even more are ready to be sent to the Ukrainian children in the portraits. I hope it kind of sends a message that we care about them and that um, there's still hope in the world. In Ames, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.